friends today i'll be going to start react form and form validation okay so my name is ekan shirudkar so i'll be uh, teaching you how to start with reactive forms and form validation create custom validators okay to check a password okay, so let us discuss about what is reactive forms so reactive forms or a data driven forms are totally a new approach which is taken by the angular team okay with reactive forms we don't have to heavily rely on a template for structuring our form rather than we can use the underlying apis which are exposed by the angular so these are also called as reactive apis and can be used to improve a module so sorry importing it can be used by importing the module so these modules are called reactive module okay to create a form so let us start with angular fix with reactive form so with basically first we need to create an angular project okay so using ng name with your project name you can start with the angular template and angular cli so basically what i'll be using is angular angular 6 angular animation angular core angular forms okay so then route and no need of this project routes and all so just need to create ng new with a template name so which will automatically create this project for you so then uh, if you want to know more about structuring of angular 6 you can watch my previous videos in which i had explained the structure of the angular 6 so right now i'll be going just focusing with uh, reactive forms so first thing you need to import angular forms in the app.module.ts form modules we need to import form module as well as reactive form module this is more important reactive form modules okay so then uh, we'll be creating one sample template i'll show you the demo what will be the final project okay so this will be our final project okay so wherein we are having name we are having the name, email ID, password, confirm password, and the button. So basically, name uh, we need to type like output. So then this validation at mail dot com. So then I'll type one, two, okay. So again, one. So if the password is matching, then this button will get enabled. Like, see, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm typing one, two, table, four, table, five. Six. Okay, so password both the passwords you get match. So this is what we are going to discuss. We are going to write a custom validator to um, uh, match the password, then some uh, validation for email IDs, and then normal required tag for the name. If you want to download this project and this is my repository you can visit so angular 6 with reactive form or else you can download for me so this is the project wherein you can download so all files are uploaded over okay let us start so this is our markup wherein we are will be working on component app dot component dot ts and app dot component dot html so this will be our markup so form group wherein first this we also will be going to import form 
builder form group and validator this is important so from angular form we are importing angular builder angular group and angular validator okay and then we are going to say like a form group is r dot r form in form group okay post of is of type any so this r form is of type a form group email is of type string empty string email password and confirm password and this all are of type string so then in constructor we will be creating an object of form builder fb okay this dot r form this form group is equal to fb dot group and over here we will be passing all the names of the whatever we will be using in the form so name email id confirm pass password and confirm password so over here first parameterization of type array will be passing null null as a what is with the value of that thing in that property so on, we'll be passing null and then validator is required so email name is required then again we are saying like validator password validator required then email we can say validator dot required also no, required require, uh, and then validate it email i am saying like at the rate and all are automatically dot com or or those kind of thing validation will be done by the and password and confirm password so in confirm password we are passing our custom custom uh, validator okay wherein we had imported it from the custom validator pass so this is a new file which we had created custom validator okay so export function password validator control abstract control control will be of type abstract control so a first i'm checking okay so if control and control value is not equal to null or control value is not equal to undefined so means control form is there then this Come inside and then we'll check for the control uh, confirm password okay value so whatever will be the value of the confirm password password so then password we don't have the password value main password okay we are having two property confirm password and password password if you want to get a password then we have to go to control dot root root path and then dot get password whatever whatever that we want okay and then we'll if pass control there then we'll get the value of that so we'll be getting a password so if uh, over here we are just matching with a confirm password and not equal to password then return is error true or else we'll return false okay so this is a validation for password checking so now we will be importing the password validator from the custom validator okay and then that's it so these are some of the markup uh, like do alert ng if our form control dot control name dot valid so this is basically to check a validation and dot touch in dot touch what will happen so on first load on first load it won't it won't give the uh, notification over here like password is required validate alpha with space validate email so this kind on touch only this will be getting enabled otherwise it won't get enabled Okay.